I thought I heard something behind me. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are exploring a ghost town for 24 hours. We are actually in a town called Calico and it's in the middle of the desert and it was completely abandoned. Believe it or not, years ago a ton of people used to live in this ghost town and a lot of people came here to actually mine and live their lives like everyday people but it became 100% abandoned. So today we're going to be walking around this town and seeing all the crazy stuff here and exploring a haunted mine which is going to be super creepy. It's actually called the Maggie Mine and there's a bunch of different ghost stories and folk tales all around this town that I'm excited to talk to you guys about. Also guys, be sure to drop a like if you guys are excited. Let's try to get this video to 20,000 likes and without further ado, let's go explore. So here is a part of the mine shaft of Maggie Mine. I think that door right there actually has entrance inside from a mine, but that's closed. I have to find the actual entrance to this place. Okay guys, so I just got tickets to go into the Maggie Mine and I'm a little bit creeped out. This is a thousand foot cave and we're gonna explore it and see if we find anything creepy inside of there. I don't know what to expect because like I said, I've never been in this, but like I said, it used to be a real mine shaft and there is a ton of different ghost stories inside of this cave that we're going to be investigating and looking into guys. So drop a like because we're doing some crazy stuff today. Before I entered the Maggie Mine, I was walking around the waiting room and there was a bunch of very strange animatronics. Honestly, they were very creepy, let alone. What was mine at Calico? Let's push this and see. Oh, you want to know what we dream of? Yeah, well, tell me, boy. It was silver. Silver, Here boy. Calico, we have silver fever. Silver I'm a little bit scared, discovered. honestly. We also got this animatronic man here. Also, it was a little bit scary. He has a guitar. And there was a lot of history about the Maggie Mine all around the waiting room and some of the stories about the mine. So it was all the way in 1881 when this mine was operating. So that was quite a long time ago, guys. And this is some of the trail of the mine. Wow, that looks seriously so old. These photos are definitely old, but it's pretty cool to see what it used to look like. So this is the entrance to the mine, guys. We're about to go inside now, and it looks like a pretty long way. So let's see what we can find in here. All right, so in the beginning of this, we're seeing a lot of different fossils for all my rock lovers out there. I collect a lot of different rocks, so it's pretty fascinating. But I'm not gonna lie, it's um very dark in here and it goes down a pretty long way, so I'm not sure how to feel about this. I'm also gonna ask you guys when you guys are watching this video to like pause if you guys hear anything weird or see anything, because I might miss something. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys see or hear anything. It's so creepy. Oh, is that like a shaft? Oh my gosh, it is. There's like a ladder here with a bucket. Oh, there's some kind of like animatronic right here. This is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Look at him. I don't know if I told you guys, but there has been a lot of reports of singing heard in this mine when you're all alone. Right now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm standing all alone in this cave. I'm gonna listen to make sure I don't hear anything weird. Sometimes people say they hear people hitting the wall like they're mining and also mine shaft sounds like carts moving all by themselves when there is no carts down here. And there has been some deaths back in the days when people are trying to explode areas to get through the shafts of this mine and it's super sad and super scary. Oh, I thought I heard something. That creeped me out so much. But let's keep walking and see if we catch anything. I don't know why, but in this specific spot, it feels extremely cold. And I don't know if you guys know, but like when they say you're in like a colder spot, there could be like a spirit presence. And I don't know why, but right here, I get like the weirdest feeling. And this spot is super weird too, because there's like holes that go pretty high up into the ceiling. It goes for such a long ways too. That's so weird. My shadow looks like it's dulled. Oh, what is that? Some kind of like animatronic. The fact that they put like animatronics in here, in like different spots is just the creepiest part about walking through this. Like imagine if they just moved on their own. I think that's creepier than the cave itself, honestly. I thought I heard like a growl in here. Yo, I'm not even tripping. It's so dark back there, look at that. Ugh, I don't even wanna be in here, but I love you guys, so I'm doing it for you guys. Hello? Any spookies in here? Shadow is so big, look at my shadow. It smells weird down here. If there was an earthquake though, that'd be so scary. Ew, I thought I saw something back there. What is that? Some kind of animatronic. I don't like that. I feel like he just moved. Wait, did he? Why'd the camera get all blurry all by itself? I feel like that guy shook. Okay, I'm creeped out. We're getting away from there. Honestly, this is one of the creepiest places I've ever walked through. And if you guys were in here, you would understand what I'm saying because you're walking through a cave all by yourself with little animatronics all through it. 
no one's here. It's like pitch black without my light that I brought, which I don't have in front of me right now. My assistant's carrying it. And it's just so eerie. I don't know what it is about walking through a cave that just creeps me out, but just everything about it just feels definitely pretty eerie. And like the energy is super high. Oh, I, I get really cold right here too. There's like certain areas of this cave where I just feel colder than others. Oh, now I feel like super hot. I'm not kidding. I just feel like something just touched my leg. I don't know what that was. Maybe it was like a bug. Okay, I'm like creeped out. Come on, let's go. So this is the... Oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. I heard like a breath. This is the dead man's drift. So large opening areas like this were often called stopes. I think this is the spot of the mine where a death actually took place. So right now it's super creepy about where this little animatronic is talking and holding a show. It's actually one of the spots of the cave where a death took place. And I just feel negative energy right here. I haven't like caught anything super weird. I did feel something like brush across my leg, but right here it feels so much hotter than it should. And it just feels really eerie. Okay, so right now we're gonna take an EVP, which is basically where I'm going to record on my phone and say hello a bunch of times and see if anything picks up on my microphone. I doubt it will happen. I'm not like, you know, sure what I'll pick up, but if I pick up any weird noise, I'll put it back in the video. So right now we're going to open my microphone on my phone if I can find it. Hello? We're gonna see if the microphone picks up anything. Hello? I thought I heard something behind me. Hello? We'll say it a few more times and see if my mic picks up anything creepy. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording. And we're gonna replay that in the video and see if my mic picked up anything strange. I saw the weirdest thing back there, pan the camera. I don't know if it's gone, but I thought I saw like feet, literally from there to there, just walking. Like, not kidding. Why do I always miss the creepy things? This cave is like definitely haunted. There's ghost tours here that run through the whole day, and right now it is pretty late and we're walking through it, so we just don't know what we're gonna capture on tape. Okay, so I think we're almost out of the cave, guys, and I'm curious if I caught anything on tape that's a little bit irregular or strange or creepy, but it is really creepy down here. Now we're finally at the exit. No more spooky cave for me, I'm getting out of here. The exit only. Bye spooky scary cave. I won't miss you. Dangerous mine shafts, do not pass beyond this point. Oh yeah, is that a challenge? So this is another haunted location and this is the haunted schoolhouse. I actually talked about this place a little bit in the last video, but let's walk up to the window and see if there's anything creepy inside. So this is actually a picture of what the schoolhouse used to look like. It actually was completed in 1955. This is what it looked like in 1885. The actual schoolhouse had kids inside of it when this town was very small. And here is what it looks like now. Um, hopefully you guys can see. I know there's a lot of shadows and stuff, but it tried to keep like the same vibe of the schoolhouse inside and replicate it as good as possible. It's really creepy looking though, honestly. Especially like all the doodles on the whiteboard. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there is actually a lot of ghost stories in here of students being seen sitting in their desks when nobody's in here at all. It's actually 100% locked off. You cannot get inside, so that's pretty creepy. So this is one of the gift shops that a ghost named Lucy is often appeared to be seen. She is often wearing a black dress and she walks around between the gift shop and the street ahead of us where her house used to be during Calico back when it was a city. Also pretty off topic, but Calico has some pretty cool gift shops. So I walked around some of them and looked at some of the cool items they had. They also had a really awesome dog gift shop where I found some cute little decorations that actually had to do with my puppy Angel. They had a Brussels Griffin sign and my mom got one for her Boston Terrier. 
What's also crazy is there is another ghost that often walks around Calico and people say that he appears as a worker at this actual place. He has a long beard and he usually greets people that enter Calico and you can see him walking on these roads here or at the main entrance of the park and then people say they turn around and he's no longer there and they have no sight of where he went. This is one of the most windiest days I have ever filmed a video and I do want to apologize to you guys if you know there's not a lot of my face because my hair is blowing around like crazy and it's hard to use my microphone in the wind like this but we are by a bottle house right now check this out it's literally made out of complete bottles and the funny thing is and I think there was this back when the town was running they used to actually take bottles and make little houses with them and I think that's cool that they still have this here a bangs I look like blonde Dora the Explorer there has been so many stories especially of a little boy running around wearing a cowboy hat who's gone into the candy shop and the soda shop and people say that he runs inside he asks for ice cream and confuses the workers and then he runs away and there's nobody there and he's also been seen waving through windows of buildings like this one where there's nobody inside and it's completely locked off so people think a little boy snuck into a building and is just waving inside the window they go inside and nobody's inside the building at all so as you guys know Lucy Lane haunts a lot of this town and this I think is the actual location of Lucy Lane's house and this is one of the most haunted places in Calico so this is the original Lucy Lane house and they have original artifacts from when she lived here so here is an original bathroom of hers Look how small the little bathtub is though. That's insane, guys. Here is also another original area of her, and that was her and her husband. They are both said to be seen in the park these days. It's weird seeing like an old design of a house. And last but not least, another room here. I'm not really sure what this part of the room would have been, but they do have pictures of her everywhere in this little house, which is really fascinating. It looks like it's some kind of tool of equipment. Let me know if you guys know what that is. I have no clue. And then they also have this really huge old picture of what Calico looked like when it was actually open to the public and people lived here. I met some super sweet supporters. What are you guys' names? My name is Peyton. Peyton and, and TV. Oh, nice meeting you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching the channel. You're welcome so, so much. There is rumor of this rocking chair actually moving all by itself and one of the ghosts apparently does rock it all by itself but right now I hate to break it to you guys it's just really windy but who knows I mean it is rocking all by itself so you just never know kids. Oh they have those birds the chukar. I saw a bunch of them running around the streets here. One of the birds that you will see here in Calico. Who is this man? Okay so right now we are walking up to a graveyard in Calico. We exited the area of Calico itself. I have never walked up to this but this is where they buried the actual residents of Calico during the time when the town was operating. This is the area where they actually had their actual burial sites. One of the creepiest parts of this is that their graves are made of rocks. So as you guys can see there's like a flower in this grave and there's people buried all beneath me. This is probably one of the creepiest spots I have ever been to on my channel is just standing in a graveyard. All due respect though to all the people who lost their lives while they were living out here. This area as well as some of the other areas in the park is one of the most haunted spots in Calico and there is a ton of activity at this graveyard especially at nighttime. One little gravestone right here I'm not sure whose it is. It is for baby boy Mudget son of Leroy and Mulchi Mudget. That is so sad. I think it was a little boy who died on that grave and there's a bunch of like planks on some of these other graves in the graveyard. So guys, I am now leaving Calico, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's historical kind of spooky video. If you guys did, be sure to hit the subscribe button to join the family and be sure to drop a like if you guys want me to do more videos where I travel to scary places like this in the future. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Congratulations to today's daily shout out winners. If you wanna win a shout out, leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shout out in my next video. So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.